Hello, I'm Bernard Keevy. I'd like to explain the impact of a few small changes and I'm going to use the 80-20 rule to prove why making a few small improvements could lead to you dominating your marketplace. So if we imagine a sort of a few small companies all sharing a marketplace and they're all competing on price, which is typically often the case anyway, if one of them decides to do things to set themselves apart from their competitors, uh, you know, like identifying their target, ideal target customer more clearly and like making small improvements so they have, it's sometimes called a unique selling point, but a unique selling point aimed at your ideal target customer or client, and that's called a market dominating position. And if you do that, then what starts to happen is you start to be able to charge more, um, you know, higher prices and you start to sell more. And it becomes cumulative because then you start to make better returns. And because you're making better returns, better profits, better sales, you can plan money back into improving your products. You can spend more and spend it better in terms of marketing yourselves. You can employ more and better, higher quality staff, more specialists. You start to get better returns for your investors, so they're prepared to invest more so you can become even better. <clears throat> you can uh, reinvest more, therefore, into your business generally. And basically, you'll have better systems because you're, you're spending more on the business. You can improve the systems. You can improve the marketing. So the whole thing becomes cumulative. So then you start to get slightly more of an advantage and then slightly more of an advantage. And it's basically a virtuous circle. And what tends to happen in the world in virtually anything is that you move towards the 80-20 rule. And obviously, it's not precisely 80-20. But in principle, the sort of thing that starts to happen is that, that this business, this company that's sort of taken a lead over its competitors, although it's only a small edge, apparently racehorses, um, the racehorse that's 2 or 3% better than the others wins all the prize money. It's that sort of effect. So you might only be slightly better, but it's enough that people start to become aware of the fact and they start to give you the business rather than your competitors. And basically, it ends up with eventually one of these businesses getting larger and larger and dominating the marketplace. What people don't realise is actually what 80-20 means, though, because 80-20, if it was still the same size marketplace, i.e. a million here, then 80-20 would mean that this one company here that started off on 250 is now up towards 800 but the other ones the other three that were on 250 are sharing the other 200 between them so there you know it's not just that this one has gained at the expense of the others it's also that these have all lost market share as well so you've got one very successful large business here and then three or a whole collection of very or relatively very unsuccessful smaller businesses and basically that's what tends to happen and that's why making small improvements small changes in a few key numbers and sustaining it makes a huge difference in the real world which is again that's why um, business owners need to be able to find the time to get their heads up from working in the business to be able to work on the business to make small improvements in a few key areas uh, which is basically what you know most of the videos I've been producing lately have um, have been saying. So if you want to know how all that works, if you have a look at um, a video on coachforprofit.com forward slash Bernard, it's eight minutes long, that will show you how if you were an accountant or a business coach, um, you know, wanting to improve your practice or an accountant at wanting to add business coaching services, that will show you how you could do that um, without huge investment. Um, and also, that would explain to you why and how we are able to offer a 200% return on investment guarantee to clients who work with us because we know exactly where the small improvements need to be made to actually guarantee those sort of returns. So have a look at coachforprofit.com forward slash Bernard for information as to how you could add coaching services to your accountancy business or improve your coaching practice. And, um, you know, if you, ever, if you want me to explain how that works, more than happy to do so as well. So in summary, very small improvements made by one company compared to its competitors eventually leads to a cumulative sort of virtuous circle effect, whereby that company eventually gets more and more successful at the expense of the others and becomes larger and larger. And the 80-20 rule effectively says that one large player dominates the market and all the other smaller players share what's left between them. Uh, and obviously we all want to be this business rather than these businesses here. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. My name's Bernard Keevy and uh, you know, thank you very much for watching.
I'm looking to recruit a business coach in order to help me handle existing global demand for business coaching services. And in particular, I'm looking for someone to run a North East US division. If you're interested in finding out more about this opportunity, which involves absolutely no financial risk or upfront investment, then go to coachforprofit.com forward slash Bernard, watch a short eight minute video. And if you think there's anything of interest there, then book a time and let's talk. And thank you very much for showing interest in this opportunity.